handmade brooms, authentic paintings, and fried donuts are just a few of the things offered at the Three Speckled Hens Antique and Vintage Show in Paso Robles. We're called the chicken ladies. Yeah. We're called all kinds of bird stuff. <laughs> And our children are called the little chicks, you know. Kathy Morcart and Susie Fuller, or the Chicken Ladies, created the Three Speckled Hens Antiques and Old Stuff show nearly 15 years ago. Inspiration for the Three Speckled Hens struck after Morcart and Fuller visited another antique show. 15 years ago, we went to a show, a couple of girlfriends and I, up in Spokane and went to a wonderful, one-of-a-kind antique show, bought too much stuff came home with a huge trailer full and in order to get it by our husbands, we told them we were going to start a show of our own. The first challenge for creating the show, coming up with a name. I wanted the three pickled hens <laughs> and she said no, it had too much of a bad connotation. <laughs> With over 150 vendors, the Three Speckled Hens features a wide variety of talents. Dwayne Penner, a broom maker with Corny Broom Company, continues his family's tradition using equipment dating back to the 1800s. Our family's been making brooms since uh, World War I. Grandparents came from Russia, they're German, went to Canada to stay away from World War I, and that's where Grandpa learned to make brooms. And then that came back to the yes. Penner carries the tradition to this date, both through his work and teaching others along the way. My favorite part of making brooms and demonstrating is telling the history where broom corn first started in 1792 and how it grew from one farmer to several farmers making brooms. Although this year's Three Speckled Hen Show has already hit the hay, the chicken ladies look forward to expanding their community in years to come. For Mustang News, I'm Avery Elowit. Thank you.